Hey guys, welcome to level two algebra skills. We're going to be looking at uh, logs in this next set of uh, videos in this playlist. So just to kind of give you an introduction, uh, where uh, I'm going to show you guys where the log comes from. Uh, but mainly, uh, I guess in level one, if you think back, you were always working with questions like this. You know how you'd have two to the power of one is two. And then say, for example, if two to the power of x was like, I don't know, eight, you kind of would say, okay, so two to the power of, so therefore x is equal to three, because two to the power of three is eight. Well, and I, and I probably did cover questions like this when you have something like this. What about 2 to the power of x is equal to 10? Now, the, the thing is, we actually don't know, because we know what 2 to the power of 3 is. 2 to the power of 3 is 8, but then 2 to the power of 4 is 16. So we know that x is somewhere between 3 and 4, but you know we can't just guess and check. And I guess that's where this whole logs um, come into play. Now, the first thing you need to understand is that uh, on the... Um, the left hand side this is actually known as the exponent form so if it if what it means by exponent form is that it's actually just written in like a normal equation with something to the raised to the power of something and then this here on the right hand side is actually called the log form all right so and i will show you guys how um how to kind of use the calculator in this case as well to kind of solve it but the basic idea being is that uh, and i'm and i love using uh, highlighters particularly in logs and exponents. But after a while, you know, you do enough of them, you get the hang of it. So basically, I use the pink highlighter for the power. So because that x is the power in this case, uh, in log form, that's what that's where x is going to be. And as for the base, um, I actually like using the color blue because B stands for blue and blue is the base. Pink stands for power. That's why I kind of use those colors there. So that means your base actually ends up being there. And finally, uh, the green being the answer, uh, I guess, I don't know, I just couldn't find a color at the moment, a uh, highlight of it with, beginning with the letter A. So that's basically what um, th this formula is. Now this formula will be given to you in your level two um, NCA exam. So it's not something that you need to remember, but trust me, you do so many of them, eventually you actually just remember it. So let me actually show you guys what it actually looks like. So if we have two to the power of four equals to 16, in log form, how this would look like is that we actually, if we think about it, we're going to put 4 as the power, and then we've got the base, which is 2, and then we've got 16 as the answer. So what we can then do is we can rewrite this as log of base as the blue color, which is 2, uh, and the answer was 16 in this case, equals to 4, which happens to be the power. And going backwards, so for example, if we have something like this, where we have log 381 equals to 4 then what we do is we kind of go okay so the base is this part here which is the blue color the answer was 81 and of course the power was actually 4 so re rewriting it on exponent form we would write this as 3 to the power of 4 equals 81 and we know that because 3 times 3 times 3 times another 3 equals to 81 And guys, in the calculator, um, what happens is, now with the calculator, what you have is you've actually got the log button right there. But if you look at it, it actually has a base 10. Um, and I know if you look in your calculator, uh, I don't know if you can see it in this video here, but uh, it's actually 10 to the power of x. All right. So that means whatever, whenever we press log in the calculator, so if I go into, uh, just go into menu and press one, where is it? There we go. So if I actually press something like this, log of two, or actually let's go log of 100. If I actually do log of 100, what um, notice that there's actually no kind of um, base in the calculator, right? Uh, all it says is just log and 100. It, it doesn't actually have any base. But when I press equals, I actually get the answer too. Now that's because in the calculator, the calculator can only do base 10. That's why they, you can see this uh, little 10 to the power of x button there. All right. So when we actually look at log of 100, uh, I'm just going to do this in the side here. So when we enter in the calculator log of 100, what the calculator actually do does is that it actually takes a base of 10 um, and then equals to whatever the power is. Now, so if you think about it, we've got the base here as uh, blue. We've got the answer here as 100 and the power here as x. So basically this question is 10 to the power of x equals 100. And we know that 10 to the power of 2 is 100. 
So x is equal to 2. And if you look at my um, calculator's answers, that's what's actually done. So when it says log of 100, it actually says 2 because it takes uh, base 2. I meant base 10. Sorry, guys. Just running through my mouth too fast at the moment. So um, yeah, so that's basically just your basic idea of exponent and log form and also just the introduction of the calculator. So just remember the calculator always does log base 10. But um, in the later videos in this series, I'll actually show you how to calculate with um, if the bases are different other than 10. All right, guys, that's basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video and share this video and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. There should be some playlists popping up with skills, past exam papers. Check them out. Thank you for watching.